How's it flying, guys? Lance Crow Block 30. And it is time for the next episode of Hell of a Boss. Episode 6, Truth Seekers. Where we last left off was the uh, Spring Harvest episode. Yeah, it was the Spring Harvest episode last. And there was an assassination attempt on uh, Solus. Stolus. And Norman Reedus voiced as the would-be assassin. Obviously, that's just a chunk of what included with that, but that's probably the most interesting twist part. And obviously, we had Brandon Rogers and the, everyone else. Like, oh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Richard Horvitz as well. So, yeah, and we're going to have more of them in this one. And I'm... I'm... I have not seen any previews or anything, but... Based off of the titles of other reactions as I've scrolled by, I've not watched those, by the way. I never watch anything that I'm going to react to right before I react to it. So, that is a policy I do my damnedest to make sure that I never do. And if I do react to something I've seen at one point, it's something I haven't seen in a long-ass time. So, with that being said, True Seekers. Probably going to be musical. Call it a hunch. Link to the original will be in the description. Please make sure you've seen it before you watch my reaction. And let's go. Following cartoon contains graphic violence, strong language, sexual themes, all that stuff. Right there. This was the first sighting. They are definitely from hell. They must use this dark magic to cross over into our world. And they seem to be killing specifically targeted people. But why? They always attack at random, all over the country. There's no way to predict where they'll show up next. Right outside your window. Ah, oh, well, that's convenient. Remember, we can't be seen. Too late. Pardon my words, sir, but you're currently being the loudest. I said shush. Yeah. Dick sucking lips, Moxie. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Uh, nice save. Luna, close it! Wait, no! Yep. Duck and we... Oh, come on, man. Alright, at least he cares. Yeah, run, 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 Suits at corporate corners loses now. That was pretty badass. Super badass. Okay. Shit! 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 Ah! Uh, you uh? Yes. You okay there? What are you doing sitting there? The boys are in trouble. Open it again. Blitz was using a total of zero euphemisms, innuendos, or swears. That means it was serious, which means I don't open it until... Open the fucking portal now! Okay. And she's serious, too. They aren't here. It smells like they went this way. Come on. But she is still... Hell, Wolfo. Pretty much. Finally awake, huh, little fella? Your partner has been for a while now. Look, shitbag, it takes a lot to keep me down, all right? I took a fuck ton of tranquilizers in the college I dropped out of. Also, I've been strapped nipple first to a car battery, so I... Oh, okay. Tell us, demon scum. Who do you work for? Satan? How did you get to our world from the afterlife? Why are you killing humans? When did you show up here? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there, bitch. First of all, we just woke up from a very nasty shock. And I'm still yeah. feeling fucking woozy, so I'm gonna request you fetch us some coffee before we get into this. I mean, everyone gets coffee in shitty movies with scenes like this, am I right? I want something iced, bitch, Mox. I'll have a Neapolitan cappuccino, more cappuccino. Make sure it's got no more than four ounces of milk. The beans won't have the right texture otherwise. And make sure they spell my name correctly on the cup. They always put Foxy or Roxy. I hate that. If you can't 
handle that, I'll have a venti traditional misto. Please use soy milk with two blonde shots, avocado, <laughs> and ristretto. I'd also love three vanilla pumps at the very bottom, then add the coffee after, then add... Enough! We aren't getting you as coffee! <laughs> wow, I was getting massive douche chills just there, Mox. Congrats. <laughs> we are willing to resort to torture methods to get answers out of you nasty hell beasts. When you say tortured, you mean physical or psychological? Physical seems counterproductive. We would likely tell you anything if it meant an end to the pain. And you would have no way of knowing what was true. Or we might like it too much, and then you've got a whole new... Yeah, that's his problem. What do you mean by that? Ah, you're stupid, huh? I could work with stupid daddy likey dummy. <laughs> Okay, that was good. <laughs> Daddy, lucky like dummy. Yeah, you are the ones at our mercy. It's hard to resist. I'm really sorry. I mean, considering your approach thus far, you've had us tied here for what hours, and you haven't even had us confirm what exactly we are. What are you? I'm a Virgo. Ha! Oh, a smart guy, huh? We'll quip out of you and we'll shut you up. Oh, getting cakey. <laughs> playing in the vile demon cake. I mean, that's what it sounded like back there, you sicko. Please don't get <laughs> your ideas, sir. Why not? <laughs> I know the shit you're into. <laughs> we are not getting cakey with you. <laughs> that's Don't let these monsters get to you. Hey, aren't we going to get our phone call, bitch? Well, that entirely depends. Who are you going to call? Hmm? Your fat mom thanking her for <laughs> fat time. Nice try, demon. His fat mom is dead. Oh, jeez. <laughs> is where they ended up? I that think so. Fucking acronym. Fuck, this looks intense. How are we going to get in? Lift me up to that van. Yeah. There you go. Dude, really? Yeah, Bob and Weave. Oh! Yeah. Not, uh. You're using Shuriken? Por que no pistola? Not that it would have done well. I'm like five years older than you. Stop it, so really? She's dead. Hey, hey, let's just leave. He don't they feel like talking. care. <laughs> don't worry, Mox. If we keep being obnoxious, they'll eventually slip up and we'll get a chance to get out. Let's just keep fucking with them until they get so frustrated they stop thinking clearly. It usually works. Hmm. So the demons want to play games, huh? Well, we could play games. Don't you know? I'm surprised that. Yeah. I'm just worried about Millie. She'll be on her way by now, I'm sure. Ugh, she'll be fine, Moxie. It would take a roided up hippo to take down that woman when she's upset. We've never dealt with the human government before. She's in danger. Uh, do you ever honestly shut up about Millie? It's always, oh, how's Millie? I can't tonight. She's his wife. Millie. I'm so worried about Millie, and she's always five fucking feet away from you. It's pathetic. That was oddly personal. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why the fuck I just let my gut spill like that. You're just noticing the gas now? This room with something. Fuck. What the hell is this? I think it's some kind of airborne truth telling serum. Oh, you just guess that's what it is? Well, uh, just ask me something specific I wouldn't normally tell you. Okay, uh, does Millie ever peg you? Sometimes. Wait! Ew! Fuck! Why that? <laughs> I knew it. Well, you're so oh, no. tacky. Fuck, I'm sorry. <gasps> How fucking dare you? You have shitty taste in music! I'm sorry! Shit taste? You said you liked that musical I recommended to you. I lied. I left halfway through. You, you said you loved it. It was awful, Moxie. It was about ugly, horny cats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not the result you were expecting, was it? This is gonna be a good night. Okay, never mind. They're enjoying it too much. Damn it, Moxie. This is all your fault. How is this my fault? Uh. Okay. There's some psychedelics mixed in. I can't see you. God, this smells awful. 
What's that music? Is that you? Is this a prank? Because I swear to say... It Satan... is no prank, bitch. Hey! Why do you sound like that? Because you, my precious little bitch boy... Stop it, sir! That's an art change there. No, what? How could this be? I've never tried acid shrooms or DMT. It's a bad trip. Oi, Gavalt! Of course, Blitz, this would be your fault. My lungs are full of honesty. So this is why it took so long, much longer. That you won't judge. Yes, Not trying to divulge too much, but I'm in too deep. So first of all, fuck you! This is just typical. Well, two can play at this game of dismay, because if you're here causing frustration, I'm torturing you in your hallucination. So he gets the grunge trip while Moxie gets the the operatic trip. I simply follow your orders. It isn't my fault if your orders are as nonsensical as a sun canning bed left out on the cold rainy porch of a fresh April shower. So why are you talking like that? What the fuck does that even mean? I am simply speaking Satan's plain English. Perhaps you should crack open a dictionary sometime, and then maybe you can understand half of the frivolous things I can be on and on about on my daily life without talking. Yeah, this is... Why do you hurt me so? I know. Why must you I push, push my friends away? Why does it seem like a recurring thing that you alienate with your toxic routine? I don't know. Eventually, everyone... This feels weird. I mean, it's well done, but it feels weird. My dear boss, you don't know what you are doing half the time. And you depend on me and the missus to manage your foolish flights of fancy. I don't need you. I can do this shit on my own so easily. Yeah, this stopped being a truth serum some time ago. Oh, hi. Oh, that that thing. You still shove away anyone who gets too close until they resent you for being a selfish shitty shit. Yeah, y'all gotta wake up if you can. Yeah, you overdosed him. Hell of an acid trip. It's true. You've been a jackass, but it's soon true. as we're back as ourselves, I, I will be a better friend than I was before. Be better at speaking my mind. And together, we can begin to become fine. Okay. Try one. <laughs> Bunch of morons there.
Mm. Do you remember what you said to me after my first day with the company? Not really. I remember. You told me I did a good job and that you were proud to work with me. I feel like you wanted to say something more judgmental, but you said that because I needed it. And it helped. Look, I'm hard on you because I know what you're capable of, Mox. You care too much about what everyone thinks, except for me, because, you know, my opinion is correct. But just keep doing a good job, okay? You shoot and kill good. You escape things easy. You can be strategic and cold-blooded when you need to. And don't expect any more compliments. I'm maxed out. Thank you, sir. You know my name. Use it. Thanks, Blitz. Mm. Hey, it's the cavalry. She didn't. Get your asses out here before more fuckers show up. Hmm. I would say just leave. Okay, I've had one too many emotions for today, guys. Let's fuck these fuckers up. And that's they're going back to what they get at. Yeah, I see where the budget went into. Very well choreographed fight scenes, as well as the musical accompaniment we just had. And there he goes. And of course he would. Of course he would. That's exactly what he would do. Just... <laughs> Yeah, I think this is the first honest to goodness fight she's been in. Do you need a gun or anything? If I'm not mistaken. How about some water? Sure. Thanks, Blitz. No problem, Millie Billy. Yeah, who wants some quality time with Daddy? Oh, that tone. <laughs> Oof. Uh, what'd you call that? A home run? Yeah, it's not really helping your survivability right now. Do these two live? I don't think they're going to, but do they? We'll see. Oh, I saw, I saw, I see the title, the names of both of those things. What does the red button do? Okay, that's what it does. Quick, the book. Shit, I can't I can't read the spell in this light. I can't see dick. Well shit. Looks like we milked this weapon tit dry and now we're out of bad ass. You demons are going anywhere now. I who dare threaten my image this plaything. 
Okay, I know who that is. Stolas is pissed. This is the correct response right here. Just like, psst, nope, I'm good, I'm good. Stole it. Well, well, hold on. How did you know that we needed help? I have my ways, darling. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine, Stolas. Mm, good. How the fuck did you get caught by humans? Are you little creatures not being careful up here? You know, if you get in trouble, I get in trouble. We don't want that. They True. Caught us off guard, your highness. Yeah, you can unclench your bird puss, Dollars. It's not gonna happen again, okay? Luckily for you, most don't believe the word of the demon-obsessed lunatics. They are seen as kooks. <laughs> kooks. Such a silly word. Now, let us all return. Kinda is, yes. but effective at the same time. I need to get back to the correct hell soon as possible am i going to get any thank you for the rescue bitsy well i suppose you should want me to fuck your brains out tonight very much so all right but you're keeping quiet or i'm using those bear traps oh please do okay then they're just like what the fuck like so what now what now we finally got the evidence we needed to be taken seriously. Oh. Nobody in corporate is ignoring this. Okay, <laughs> I would say, yeah, that's probably accurate. Although, this begs the question, how much more serious are we going to get? Obviously, we had a bunch of kooky moments, but, uh, that got pretty dark in some moments, for sure. Kind of like the last episode had some really dark mo- had some, uh, really heavy seriousness moments. This one felt even more so, especially with that dual acid trip that they had. Wow, they had a really big group of people working on this one. Doesn't surprise me, but still, wow. And like I figured, Richard Horvitz did sing uh, his part. This was a mistake. This was a horrible mistake. Okay, Chaos Emporium. Calm, calm your tits, because this obviously wasn't a mistake. Eight point eight million views uh, since uh, since it uploaded August twenty first. Wow. But yeah, that was just uh, the description. Really does no justice to what we saw. It was like characters talking, things sure do happen. Yeah, things happen. A lot of things. Some very interesting things. All right. I'm going to make a wild assumption, unless they release something in the next couple of days that this is going to be the last uh, hell of a boss that I'm going to be able, that I'm going to see up here in Alaska. Yeah. 
Weird to think, by the time you guys see this, it'll be only a week before my official move date. Weird to think that, like, the past three years, if I'm not mistaken, I've had this setup. May have been the last two Actually, the last two years, I've had this set up here with the camera facing this way. And now that's going to be changing. And uploads are going to be a little bit less frequent because limited internet where I'm going to be going. Gonna have to try to change that. Gonna have to try to contribute to the internet bill so we can get a better plan, but... For now, with what little bit of catch-up I'll do, be able to do before I move, I'm gonna do my best to enjoy it. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed, comment what your thoughts on this episode was, or how it stacks up to the other episodes in any criteria. Subscribe if you're new, and tap the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video so you don't miss any reactions, gameplay, or otherwise for me. Also, go check out my Discord. Link is also down in the description. Come join. We'll talk. Post memes, songs, videos, artwork. You can support your own stuff and just have some fun. And also, go check out my Patreon if you guys feel like showing some extra support. This is Lance Corporal Hawk 30 signing off.